Hey everybody, welcome back to Behind the Reel. I'm your host, John, and today we've got another Lowrance video. Today we're gonna show you how to edit overlays, and if you wanna add information to your screen, whether that is time, depth, water temperature, we're gonna go over that, show you how to add that information to your screen, and this will help you to be more efficient on the water. Before we get today's video started, I want to shout out the sponsor of today's video, and that is Beard Unlimited. Guys, I've been using this product for years. Whether your beard is short or long, this stuff is definitely a must-have in my daily routine. And actually, I realized how much good this was doing my beard and my face when I did shave off my beard. And I just realized how healthy that my skin and my beard was underneath all that hair. So I've shaved my beard before, grown it out pretty long, shaved it, and I found a bunch of dead, nasty skin up under there. Not this time. I've been using this stuff religiously. If you guys want to check it out, use code BTR15. Save 15% on your next order over there on beardunlimited.com. All right, so we're going to start off on the main screen here. If you guys are not looking at this screen, I want you to hit the Pages button right here. And this should take you to the screen that we are on here, which I refer to as the main screen. So we're all going to start out from the same place. And what we're going to go over today is editing an overlay or adding an overlay, adding information to your screen. So if you want to see the depth or the water temperature or the time, you know, these are all examples of things that you can add as an overlay. And so this is a question that I hear quite a bit. So I want to go over this in a video to help you guys out. So if you are trying to add information to your screen, we have to do this per the individual screen you're looking to add it to. So if we want to add information to the chart screen, we have to go first to the chart screen or for the side imaging screen. If you want your time to show up on side imaging, you know, we'll have to start out on that screen. So it's very similar to the adjustments that you're going to make. If you want to make a side imaging adjustment, you got to go to the side imaging screen and go through your menu and then you can, you know, adjust your settings from there. So that's exactly how we're going to do this as well. So let's say we're going to go to our chart screen. As you can see right there, we have some information on the top left hand part of the screen there. We've got voltage and then we've also got uh, like a mile per hour and uh, we'll be able to go ahead and add some more information here and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to short press the power button. Just press it. You do not want to hold it down. We're going to go to edit overlay from our quick menu there and then uh, you will be able to see, now you didn't see this pop up. A lot of the times that'll pop up on its own but as you can see I just selected the uh, the three the three bars there everybody kind of knows that as you know like a, a settings option that that we've seen on our smartphones and whatnot so if you don't see this bar pop up on its own you may have to select it so now the first thing that we can do is we can add so you'll be able to delete things or change things as well but we're going to go ahead and we're going to add and then from here you've got a list of data that is available to be added as an overlay. So we've got engine data, we've got battery, such as the battery voltage. So as you saw there, that was added to uh, the overlay as soon as we check that box. We've got temperature, which we can add. I don't have a transducer plugged in, so it's not going to give us any information right now. Um, but this is the information that we can add here. We've got under sonar, so make sure, and, and this is something too, because I just about missed it myself, but you can see over here on the right hand side of the screen, you can actually see that you have more information. So it started me out clear down here, but scroll up or scroll down if you don't see the information that you want to add. So right here, we've got depth, okay? And then we've got some GPS, we've got heading, we've got a bunch of different information that we can add. Navigation, bunch of stuff that I'm never gonna mess with here. Altitude, course over ground, all this stuff. So I'm not gonna get too technical here. For today's video, 
you know, we're going to, the main ones that people want to add is going to be voltage, uh, temperature, and depth. Those are, those are really the main ones that I hear people wanting to add. And really, we just went over how to add that. But it does us no good if we do not save this information. So we've checked the boxes. We figured out what information we want to add. We have to X out and we have to select save. So once we hit that save button, we can back out, hit our pages button, go back to the chart screen and we should still see all this information there. Let's say delete. We're gonna go delete, 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 save. And say we wanna add it back, edit overlay, add, sonar, let's go depth, let's go water temperature, and time save it so now we're locked in guys this is a real simple easy step if you guys want to add information to your screen make sure you go to the screen that you want to add the information to could be charts side scan down scan active target doesn't matter if you guys want to add information got to go to the screen short press your power button edit overlay and then figure out what information you want to add. Get it added. Make sure you save it. And then you're done. All right, guys, that was just a real quick tip video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're looking to add information to any screen that you have access to on your Lowrance graph, you're going to be able to do it using the instruction on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions at all, put them down in that comment section. Share this video with a friend. Check out the rest of the videos in the Lowrance playlist. You just might get some value out of it. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.